what is up guys Derek with Divine AV here please give us a like smash the subscribe button and enjoy the video let's get it going Yes, it's, it's the exact same TV. Okay. Yeah, so it literally is, is a Q75 and a frame house. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I can actually, if we open it up a little bit, I can tilt it. I can tilt it. I'm definitely going to die with the comments in here. <laughs> Is it level two or three? Uh, you're three. Okay. See you later. All right, this is first ever elevator ride with a Samsung TV. Kind of frightening. Frame 75 inch. I'm definitely trapped in here. <laughs> Worst case scenario. So hopefully we get this footage out to anybody if this uh, doesn't go my way. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, we're actually in these condos that we pre-wired. So we pre-wired these about a, eight months ago and now we're in them doing all the install. So we're gonna put this frame 75 inch TV up and unbox that and we'll get right into it. Let's get it going. I'm gonna keep this going in case anything happens. I made it. <laughs> All right guys, we got the beast up here. So we're doing something really cool in this guy's house. Um, I'll walk you through this whole layout in a little bit, but look at his view here in, this is in Dallas, Texas. This is in the colony actually. And uh, yeah, I'll take you up to the top floor. This is a four story condo. So it's really, really cool build out. We did the pre-wire. We did uh, wired these first, was it six units maybe? Or nine, nine units? Yeah. So we wired nine units and those ones are the next ones going up. So we'll be pre-wiring all of those. There's six more units and those are uh, staggered a little bit higher than these ones. So you can still get that same view. But yeah, let's get into our install portion right here. Uh, we're doing a 55 inch frame TV. So that's gonna line up with this dining table right here. So we do a 55 inch frame and then take its bigger brother because it's gonna look super dope next to each other. We're gonna do the 75 inch frame man mounted above this fireplace. As well as, uh, he's had Pro 160s, right? Yeah, we're doing Pro 160s for the front left and right up there in the ceiling, and then Pro 160s for the rears, and then a Eclipse 640D for the center channel, and I believe an SPL 100 up here in the corner. All right, let's get right into it. All right guys, we're rocking and rolling right here. Um, we actually had pre-wired this for a regular TV, but we had not planned a year ago for a Samsung frame. And these things, as you guys know, or if you don't know, they do not need power or anything. They just run straight to their one connect cable and their one connect cable runs straight to the one connect box, which adds power and video source and all of that stuff. So uh, yeah, we actually bought, this is the cable that comes with it. It's about 20, 25 feet, maybe I think 20 feet actually. We bought a 50 foot extension cable for a few hundred bucks. So uh, what we're gonna do is go through this existing box, drill the hole out up there, and I'm gonna follow it along the top of this uh, little niche up there, and then we're gonna drop down, and then the cable's gonna come all the way to the ground level where he's putting this little like mini bar buffet thing. So we're gonna stick our one connect boxes down in there, and then we're balling jumping off to go downstairs to a rack where it's gonna provide the audio signal for all the speakers in here. Yeah, let's keep rocking and rolling. All right, guys, here we are at the top floor. Um, I'm gonna go back down to the living room in a second. I just wanted to show you guys this. This is an absolutely phenomenal view. Again, this is in the colony in Texas. We're, you know, four stories up. So you're about 40 feet up, as you can see there. Just look at that. So you got that, and behind me, you got this like little overlooking view of the city. Freaking incredible. 
Yeah, it almost makes you feel like you're in like Florida or California or something and you're not, you know, in this big flat wasteland. It's very cool. Yeah, so anyways, up here, we're gonna be putting a TV here in the long run and then also another TV there. We're pre-wired for speakers there, one above that TV and then one above his grill right here. All right, we'll keep rocking and rolling. Wish I had this kind of money to have a house like this. <laughs> Alright guys, here's your extra cable. See this one is 49.2 feet. It is 15 meters. Um, you may need this if you're trying to run your cable further than 20 feet like the included cable. And uh, for any of you guys that know this out here, they, these things back in the day came, when they first came out, only came with like a 10 foot cable. Then they upped it to 15, then 20, and now they finally came out with this uh, 50 foot extension. As you can see, this works for all the QLED 8Ks, QLED, it works for every TV of their highest brand, but it also works all the way down to their lower end 4K TVs. So, yeah, if you need an extension cable, you guys can pick one of these up, you can give us a call, we can also get you one. And there's our big ass, thick ass cable. See, um, you'll notice that this cable is a thicker gauge than the other one, so it can travel a further distance, so. Yeah guys, this is the cable that it comes with. See that thickness versus this one? That's so this one can travel twice the distance. It's the same thing that you'd have a Cat5 versus a Cat6. Cat5 is only gonna travel like 300 feet where a Cat6 can travel almost 500 feet. That's, the only difference between those two cables is a thicker gauge of wire. Same concept. Let's get it done. But yeah, this that plate has less than this one, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, for the new one they've made this a little bit longer and they put more holes in it. The other one we always found that we had to like drill holes in different places to hit a stud. So that's cool about this one. It's got a fat. So this is our second frame to mount actually, because we didn't mount one from before. So yeah, this is a little different, huh? All right. Oh yeah. How different is it? Uh, not so much. Just the Mounting. Yeah, this is how this thing secures. All right, yeah, so this guy secures onto the back of here, screw that guy in, and then this bar will clip out. So it's got three different holding points on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, so this guy will pull out like that, and then you mount this onto this little bar here, and then it'll push on up in there. So yeah, what we're gonna be doing, Oh, it's got some foam pads. These are actually for the back of the TV, so they don't scrape it across the wall when you put it there and it gives you a little bit of work. Like that. That's what that's for. So this is like, this is a tile here. So I'm gonna use this stud and then I'm actually gonna use an anchor because I don't wanna go drill on this whole wall up. So I'm gonna use two strong sheetrock anchors to hold in this and then get two in the stud and that thing will hold all day long. The anchors I use are rated at 150 pounds. These things, throw them in the trash, do not use these. If the TV mounts ever come with it, its dedicated screw, don't use the ones that come with the TVs. Some mounts are okay, but we always like to use a stronger bolt whenever we're mounting anything. All right, guys, so we drilled these first two, which they're almost dead center on the mount, which honestly, those two by themselves would hold this TV, but we're gonna overkill it a little bit and then do two concrete anchors here and here. So yeah, let's go right into that. We're gonna use five inch lag Spax bolts that we got from Home Depot. Toss me a bolt. 
Throw me a boat. Throw it to me. Five. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's a chandelier right there. Did you see it? All right. <laughs> All right, yeah, so these these bolts you can get at Home Depot. We use these to mount the TVs. This is a, These are five inch. I would get three inch on a standard TV, but we have a bigger wall here. So yeah, you get these five inch fax bolts, little T30 bit in the uh, head in the top. These things act as washers. We use these for almost everything. So yeah, let's get rock and roll. Was that? <laughs> These guys are self-leveling, so if the level's a little bit off on them, before you press them up to the wall, you can tilt it a little bit left and right. Good job, Samsung. That is badass. Step back and check this out, y'all. So yeah, boom. Chilling right here. Skadoosh, 75 inch TV. As I'm chilling here watching my movies. My Pro 180's up top. My 640D. Look out to see the boats and stuff. Boats and hoes. All right guys, we got both these TVs out. Check out our vision. It's freaking dope. So you got that one, and it's almost like a little mirror effect of a little baby version of itself. So yeah, these TVs, as I said before, they will be linked and mirrored together. So they'll be able to watch the same thing on both TVs while they play on the 5.1 system in here and the two stereo speakers here in the kitchen. So yeah, really sick setup. We gotta use some balance and make some magic happen and wave some wands. But yeah, we'll get that going the next time we come back here. But yeah, I'm gonna get these guys turned on. The frame, the frame. Yeah, so we're coming back. We're doing upstairs speakers, downstairs, fixing a whole rack up, but we're coming back on the 21st of this month. It is, what is today's date? It's 10th, 11th. But yeah, we'll be coming back in like 10 days. And then, yeah, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.